First off, I'm really sorry for my long absence. I had equipment issues and travel issues and all sorts of things went wrong, but I'm back. You might have noticed I'm not in my usual studio. In fact, I'm in the Discovery News studio. I'm here in San Francisco and they've kindly lent it to me for the day. In fact, you can catch me over on Discovery News this week talking about the oldest rock on Earth. But that's not all that's gone on in science this week. There are artificial organs, planet-sized explosions of space weather and marsupials that literally fuck themselves to death. Let's get started. Artificial lungs have been successfully created in a laboratory for the first time. As I'm sure you know, one of the biggest risks in transplantation science is that the recipient of an organ will reject the foreign tissue. Organs grown from a patient's own tissues could dramatically cut this risk. The lungs were created at the University of Texas Medical Branch. They took a lung, stripped it of all the cells, leaving behind a scaffold of collagen and elastin. Cells from the donor tissue were then placed inside this scaffold. After four weeks in a nutritional liquid, a lung was produced. It's softer and less dense than a regular human lung and couldn't ever be transplanted at this point, but it's still a massive step forward. Over in physics, the mass of an electron was measured to 12 decimal places. That's 13 times more precise than previous efforts. Such precision might seem a little over the top, but it actually enables more exact predictions of atomic behavior, which in turn can be used to test competing modules of physics. In space news this week, the core of a supernova was imaged for the very first time. Because stars are spheres, it's always been previously assumed that supernova would have equal expansion and distribution of elements. The new images reveal that other elements, namely iron and titanium, are also unequally distributed and are differently heated, even though the heavier elements should have been fused in the same area of the star. This hints that the core undergoes conformational changes prior to the supernova. Back to biology, you've seen the movie Avatar, right? Well, this week an implant allowed one monkey to use its thoughts to control the limbs as of a sedated avatar monkey. The achievement has been claimed as a large step towards allowing people with spinal cord injuries to regain control of their limbs. Let's face it, the weather on Venus isn't exactly friendly. Now researchers have revealed that Venus is exposed to massive space weather explosions, sometimes multiple times per day. Solar wind travels from the sun at millions of miles per hour. Occasionally, it becomes tangled on itself and remains in contact with the planet's bow shock, which is the point where the wind's speed drops from contact with fields surrounding the plane to create a powerful projection of hot plasma known as a hot flow anomaly. These happen around Earth too, but luckily our magnetosphere protects us from the worst of it. In fact, the interactions between our magnetosphere and the charged particles from solar wind is what causes aurora. Venus isn't so lucky. It only has a tiny magnetosphere which hardly protects it at all. Researchers announced this week that these explosions of space weather can be bigger than the planet itself. A new species of Antichinus has been discovered. These are small marsupials around the size of a mouse. Over the course of the mating season, stress hormones build up inside the male and eventually cause his body tissues to degrade. Fur begins to fall out, internal bleeding sets in and the immune system fails, allowing gangrene, parasites and liver failure to take over. Even after he's completely disheveled, he still seeks another mate up until his dying breath. That is one dedicated little marsupial. That's it from me this week, folks. Don't forget to check me out over at Discovery News, talking about the oldest known rock on Earth. I'll see you next week. Thanks.